Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out today. All right, so today I'm here with a video talking about my new office space, which I am currently in right now. You can't really see it because yeah, because I got the wall <laughs> against my back. So I wanted to talk about why I got an office space and things that I considered and things that you just need to think about when you're getting an office space. All right, so for me, I wanted to get an office space pretty much since I went full time and that was about um, a little over two and a half years ago. You know, a lot of people are surprised to hear that. They're like, oh, I thought you wanted to work at home. Why'd you get this office space? No, I never necessarily wanted to work at home. All I wanted when I left my full-time job working in human resources was to just have more flexibility. I was working so much and my commute was so far that I just felt like I had nothing left for me at the end of my day. I was barely getting home and um, getting to spend time with my husband and my son. I just felt like I was coming back sometimes after dinner time and... If I was lucky, I'd get to hang out for a little bit before my son went to bed, and then it was time to get up and do the exact same thing again the next day. So I just wanted more flexibility in my life. I didn't want to have a super long commute, and so, of course, I just took my business into my house, as you should do when you first start reselling, and it was great. But, then, you know, you start to accumulate things, and my business started out kind of being in my loft of my home, and then I tried to get it um, more in one area. And so I put it into like my upstairs office slash gym workout room. It's basically where I have my treadmill. So then I had it in there, but then I felt like it was no longer this exercise room, which kind of was sacred to me. And I never wanted to work out because all this crap was in there. <laughs> and so then I thought, okay, let's move it to the garage. Let's move everything to the garage because the garage was where I was storing my inventory. So I took everything down into the garage, my photo booth, my desk, everything. So I was working out of my garage and that was better because it was a little bit more contained. Uh, however, my garage is uh, subject to the elements, which means in the summer it was really hot and in the winter it was really cold. And so, you know, I'd be running a space heater out there, but even with a space heater, it was still really cold. And then in the summer it was really hot, so I was running fans in there. And I get that that can happen anywhere, even at an office space. Um, but I still was having the feeling of being at home, right? Because all I had to do was walk in the door back into my home and there was my bed if I wanted to take a nap. There was my fridge if I wanted to have a snack or a meal. And if I sat down for a snack or a meal, I might turn on the TV and all of a sudden I get sucked into a one hour episode of something and all of a sudden productivity kind of drops or, you know, it's like, oh, let me just move a load of laundry. But then as you do that, you're like, oh, let me clean up all this stuff that's on the bathroom counter, whatever it is. It's just like your brain starts kind of going elsewhere and your multitasking you know, is not effective. I mean, multitasking is hard enough as it is. And then to add in like six, you know, six things into the mix at once, right? You're, pr you're pretty much not doing anything at all. So I had been flirting with the idea of an office space for a while. Um, and I had been looking on like, you know, Craigslist or, or Facebook market, not marketplace. Yeah. Marketplace. Yeah. I think I was looking there. Um, anywhere that had classified to see like what spaces were available in my area. And I do live in an expensive area. I am about, you know, 30 to 40 minutes outside of downtown Seattle. And while in theory it should get less expensive, and it probably is, it's still expensive anyways, um, just because of the area I live in. And so I didn't want to have too far of a commute. So I was really looking for something hyper local to me, like within five minutes, you know, something that I could just in the middle of the night drop what I'm doing and drive to. Well, the places that are five minutes from me cost upwards, you know, if you're lucky, you can maybe find something for $1,500, but realistically, it was probably going to be around $2,000. So I found one place that I was like kind of serious about. Um, initially, they were asking $2,000. It was 800 square feet. It had um, a combination of office and like warehouse space. It had like a roll-up door with like a small little warehouse portion of it. 
then the office part had like a separate office room, a bathroom. It was really awesome. It was great. Um, I got them down to, I think like 15 or $1,400, but ultimately I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. They wanted a three-year lease from me and a three-year lease of $1,400 a month is just like, that is so much money. That just didn't work for me and my business. I'm not that big of an operation. I can't support that sort of uh, monthly rent. So I let that one go and I just continued to look at spaces. Now, I had been looking at this building that I'm currently in. I've been looking at it for a while because one of the things that I liked about this place is that it's month to month. That's huge to not sign a large contract and it's flat pricing. So um, so anyways, I had come here like a year or two ago and had spoke with um, the manager of the building and I was interested in some other units, not the one I'm currently in because I was really firm on needing a lot of space. Um, however, the units I wanted weren't available. So then obviously in the past month, I had seen they had um, some openings. And so I came to just look at the openings and see what was available. I saw the unit that I'm currently in today and I thought, okay, it's small, but I could make it work. Additionally, the manager showed me a larger unit, which I would have liked to have had the larger unit, but it cost $200 more than what I'm paying right now. And I just figured since I'm just starting to move things out of the home and I'm trying to keep costs low because I didn't have this overhead before that I, uh, yeah, so I would go with the smaller unit because I can always grow into a larger unit and the fact that these units are month to month, they do open up, I don't want to say frequently, but it's not uncommon, you know, I wouldn't have to wait probably too long if I maybe wanted a bigger unit. So yeah, so the unit I'm in today is I think about 250 square feet. Um, I pay $600 a month just for full transparency there. And it's $600 flat. It does include utilities. Um, there's the bathroom, <laughs> you know, there's janitorial service. Um, there is a, uh, like a little kitchen that has coffee and tea, which you may have seen in my video tour that I did. Um, free parking. What else do I get? Garbage. Yeah, it's great. I love it here. It's really awesome. Um, it's perfect for me and it works right now. You know, arguably it's a little cramped in my space just because I do have a lot of inventory, but right now I'm just working on bringing down my inventory um, and really honing in on things that I want to be selling. Uh, and so I hope to make better use of the space. I'm kind of looking around as I say that. <laughs> just make better use of my 250 square feet until I'm ready to maybe get a larger unit, but I don't know that I see that happening right now in the short term. So those are my thoughts for why I got an office. Now, it's not for everyone, and I totally realize that, but for me, it's better for me to separate the two, um, better for my mental health. You know, when I see the work at home, then I want to do the work. I just kind of, I have it, it's in my DNA, it's in my blood. I come from people who like to work, <laughs> so, um, and I like making money, and the more I work, the more money I make, right? That's how reselling works. And so it's been nice to separate the two and not see inventory and packages and all sorts of stuff all over my house. Um, but I get for some people that's like, no, 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 that's like, they like having the business in their home and I respect both things. There's no wrong way to resell in my opinion. So um, some of the questions that I had received, you know, a big one was like, why did I want to make this jump? And then like, what was I paying? Another question I, re I received, which I don't really have an answer to. So I'm mo mostly just saying I don't have an answer on this is getting, um, insurance on my office space. So it's not currently insured. Um, you know, I mean, I guess if somebody broke in and took all my inventory, it's like, mm, it's all from the bins anyway. <laughs> it's like my investment is like not huge. It's time is like the biggest thing. Um, but that is something I'm going to look into. I know that there are a couple of companies. I just remember from eBay open, there was a company there offering business insurance. However, I do, I, I think I can look at you know, my insurance company that I have and reach out to them because they might give me a good price if I kind of bundle it with all the other insurance that I have. I'm just taking a guess there. So, you know, should you get an office space? I think that's a really subjective question. Um, you know, when it's right for you, if it's right for you, you know, 
if you're making money and you can support taking on the overhead of an office space, then yeah, you should. I also think getting maybe just a storage space, you know, if you're just wanting some of the inventory outside of your home, you know, that's something I considered also. There is um, lots of storage unit places near my home. Do you have lots of them near your home? Like what the heck, they keep popping up. But um, <laughs> so the, I did look at that as an option because those cost, you know, a hundred or so a month, I think, if I'm saying that right off the top of my head. So that was something that I considered doing. Um, but ultimately, I just really, I wanted everything gone out of the house. I didn't just want the inventory. I wanted all of it gone. <laughs> um, so, you know, maybe baby steps. It just, de it depends what's ultimately going to work for you. And for some people, it's just never going to work because they live in expensive cities. I have friends who live in Los Angeles where it's just like, you know, that's not going to work probably for them. The cost of having an office space is equal to what their, you know, uh, monthly rent is. So, um, you know, cons of an office, um, one potentially is noise. You know, uh, when I first came and saw the space, I was like, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to do it. Um, what I later realized being in the unit, I was like, Ooh, I kind of hear a couple of other people in the building. It's not a deal breaker because for me, I'm not taking business meetings in here. I don't have clients coming. I don't necessarily have to keep up a professional atmosphere in here. Um, the only thing would be recording videos like this and hopefully you don't hear too much of it. I am right next to a window with a busy road. So you could possibly hear that in my videos or if like a fire truck went by you could probably hear that but for me that wasn't a deal breaker if anybody else in the building is listening to loud music I'll just go one notch higher <laughs> listen to my music um cost right overhead that's just one more thing you're gonna have to pay for so it's just you know for me even um paying that $600 this past month I was like oh bye bye money <laughs> yeah but my happiness outweighs it I'm really happy in my office space I keep saying I get this stupid grin on my face every time I talk about the office because I love it um, another one is proximity so that is something I kind of had to let go of a little bit you know I wanted it to be five minutes from my house and it's probably about mm, 17 minutes door to door um, which is still not bad at all um, but I in the beginning I was like no I would I think I was so burnt out on having such a long commute in my last job that I was like, no, I need this place to be walkable. <laughs> you know, if push came to shove, I could walk there. So uh, now it's not a big deal. 17 minutes, like, it's fine. Like, really, you know, you just have to make some concessions when you're making big decisions because you're not going to get everything you want all the time. That's just a life rule. Um yeah, but th that's kind of it. Those are what I wanted to say about having an office space. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Um, I tried my best to answer what I think people would be interested in of why I got an office space and why this works for me. If you're curious uh, to see what my office looks like, check out the two videos that I did. You can see my excitement in those and kind of how I set things up. It's not too different uh, than that now, other than just maybe a little bit less or a little bit more crowded. <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.